Capucine, the actress, was a prominent figure in the film industry, known for her work in both French and American cinema. Born Germaine Lefebvre on January 6, 1928, in Saint Raphael, France, she adopted the stage name Capucine, which means nasturtium in French. Throughout her career, Capucine appeared in numerous films and television shows, including The Pink Panther, What's New Pussycat, and The Seven Faces of Dr. Lau. Her striking beauty and unique charm made her a standout in any role she played. Capucine's accomplishments extended beyond acting, as she was also a successful model. She graced the covers of several high-profile fashion magazines, including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar, and was a favorite of designer Coco Chanel. Despite facing personal struggles, including battles with depression and addiction, Capucine remained a dedicated and passionate artist until her passing on March 17, 1990. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Capucine was a French actress, born Germaine Helene Irène Lefebvre, who appeared in many American films during the 1950s and 1960s. She studied acting in Paris and began her film career in the early 1950s. Capucine's big break came when she was discovered by French fashion designer Hubert de Givenchy, who cast her in the lead role in the film Sabrina alongside Audrey Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart. Do you have a personal story of how Capucine has inspired or impacted your life? Perhaps you were inspired by her acting career, or maybe you have a cherished memory associated with one of her films. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout her career, Capucine worked with many notable actors and directors, including Alfred Hitchcock, William Holden, and Cary Grant. She appeared in a number of classic films, such as The Pink Panther, What's New Pussycat, and The Lion in Winter. Despite facing challenges in the industry, including being typecast as a glamorous seductress, Capucine continued to work in film and television throughout her career. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Capucine's life and career, so keep watching this video. We hope that learning more about this classic star will inspire you to share your own stories and memories with us. So, don't forget to leave your comments below. Capucine the actress was born in 1928 in Saint Raphael, France. She was raised in a family that appreciated the arts, with her father being an avid theater goer. This early exposure to the world of theater sparked her interest in acting. As a child, Capucine was often taken to watch plays and operas, which further fueled her passion for the craft. She was particularly drawn to the glamour and elegance of the actresses she saw on stage. Capucine's family encouraged her to pursue her dreams, and she began studying acting at a young age. She trained at the prestigious Conservatoire National Supérieur d'Art Dramatique in Paris, where she honed her skills and learned the techniques of the craft. During her time at the conservatory, Capucine was heavily influenced by her teachers, who were all accomplished actors and directors. She was particularly inspired by one of her teachers, who had worked with some of the greatest actors of the time. Capucine's early exposure to the arts, combined with her rigorous training and the influence of her mentors, set her on a path to become a successful actress. She went on to appear in numerous films and shows, leaving a lasting impact on the world of classic cinema. Capucine, born Germaine Lefebvre in 1928, was a French actress who graced both film and television screens with her elegant presence. She began her career as a model in the 1950s before transitioning to acting, where she quickly gained recognition for her striking beauty and unique talent. Throughout her career, Capucine appeared in numerous classic films, including The Pink Panther and What's New Pussycat. She worked alongside some of the biggest stars of her time, such as Peter Sellers and Woody Allen. Her performances were always memorable, and she brought a certain charm and grace to every role she played. Capucine's contributions to the world of acting extend beyond just her film appearances. She also had a successful career on television, appearing in various shows and made-for-TV movies. Her ability to adapt to different mediums and genres is a testament to her versatility as an actress. Despite facing challenges and setbacks throughout her career, Capucine remained a resilient and dedicated artist. She continued to work in the industry until her passing in 1990, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. In reflecting on Capucine's career, it's clear that she was a significant figure in her time. Her contributions to the world of acting and her unique talent have left an indelible mark on the industry. Her work continues to resonate with audiences, and she remains a beloved figure in classic film and television. Capucine's passion for acting was ignited during her childhood, 
growing up in a family that cherished this classic art form. She was captivated by the enchanting stories and vivid characters that came to life on the screen. Her grandmother, an avid theatergoer, would often take her to see plays and operas where she marveled at the performer's ability to transport the audience to new worlds. One pivotal moment came when Capucine was 10 years old. She attended a screening of a groundbreaking film which left a profound impact on her. As the lights dimmed and the opening credits rolled, she was instantly drawn into the story. The actor's powerful performances and the emotional depth of the characters resonated with her. From that moment on, she knew she wanted to devote her life to the art of acting. Driven by her newfound passion, Capucine began performing in school plays and community theater productions. She honed her craft, studying the techniques of legendary thespians and learning from each role she played. With each performance, her love for acting deepened, fueling her desire to pursue a career on stage and screen. Capucine's unwavering dedication and natural talent soon caught the attention of industry professionals leading to opportunities in film and television. She embraced these challenges, always eager to learn and grow as an artist. Through her work, she has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, inspiring generations of aspiring actors with her captivating performances and enduring legacy. In the film, What's New Pussycat, the actress, known by her stage name Capucine, takes on the role of Renée Lefebvre. Interestingly, Capucine's birth name is Germaine Lefebvre, sharing a similarity with her character's name. In North to Alaska, Capucine portrayed a prostitute named Angel, a character that initially caused some controversy. Director Richard Fleischer had doubts about her casting, believing she lacked the necessary sex appeal for the role. However, producer Charles K. Feldman, who was also Capucine's partner at the time, had already promised her the part. This led to Fleischer's dismissal and his replacement by Henry Hathaway. Despite Fleischer's initial concerns, Capucine's performance proved him wrong. Capucine's portrayal of Hallie Gerard in Walk on the Wild Side further showcased her ability to play complex characters. This role, which she took on just two years after North to Alaska, earned her critical acclaim for her shattering performance. Beyond her on-screen roles, Capucine maintained a close friendship with her song, without end co-star, Dirk Bogard. Rumors circulated that they were once engaged or considering marriage, but these claims appear to be unfounded. Nevertheless, Capucine often visited Bogard at his home in France, highlighting the depth of their bond. Capucine, the actress, faced numerous challenges in her early career. Born in 1928, she struggled financially, sometimes living paycheck to paycheck. Despite these hardships, she remained determined to succeed in the acting industry. Industry skepticism was another obstacle for Capucine. She faced rejection and doubt from those who questioned her talent and potential. However, she refused to let this discourage her. Instead, she used it as motivation to work even harder and prove them wrong. Capucine's resilience was truly remarkable. She found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles, such as taking on various jobs to support herself while pursuing her acting career. She also continued to hone her craft, studying acting and working on her skills. One of the most impressive aspects of Capucine's story is her ability to persevere in the face of adversity. Despite the financial struggles and industry skepticism, she remained focused on her goals and never gave up. Her determination and resilience are a true testament to her character and a source of inspiration for aspiring actors today. Capucine's story is a reminder that success is not always easy or immediate. It requires hard work, dedication, and the ability to overcome obstacles. But with perseverance and a positive attitude, anything is possible. Capucine's legacy continues to inspire and empower actors around the world, reminding them to never give up on their dreams. Capucine, against her family's wishes, pursued a career in acting instead of becoming a school teacher or working in a bank. Her life took a dramatic turn when she entered into a two-year relationship with actor William Holden, who was married at the time. The secretive affair added to the actress's allure and intrigue. Beyond the glamour of her film career, and high-profile relationships, Capucine struggled with mental health issues. She was close friends with Audrey Hepburn, whom she had met while modeling in Paris in the late 1940s. This friendship proved to be a lifeline for Capucine, as her manic-depressive tendencies led her to attempt suicide on multiple occasions. Hepburn, living in Switzerland at the time, stepped in to provide support and help save her friend's life. Despite the challenges she faced, Capucine left an indelible mark on the film industry captivating audiences with her talent and charm.
Her story serves as a reminder of the complexities that often lie beneath the surface of even the most seemingly glamorous lives. Capucine, the French actress, found her breakthrough moment in the American film industry with her role in the 1961 film The Pink Panther. Her performance as Simone Clouseau was praised for its comedic timing and charm, which gained her recognition in Hollywood. Prior to this, Capucine had already made a name for herself in the French film industry. However, it was this classic film that catapulted her to international stardom. Peter Sellers, her co-star in The Pink Panther, spoke highly of her talent and professionalism. He once said, Capucine was a delight to work with. She brought a certain elegance and wit to the set that was infectious. In 1963, Capucine received critical acclaim for her role in the film The Seven Faces of Dr. Lau. Her portrayal of Angela Benedict showcased her versatility as an actress, earning her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actress. The film's director, George Powell, was quoted as saying, Capucine's performance was a revelation. She brought depth and emotion to a character that could have easily been one-dimensional. Throughout her career, Capucine continued to challenge herself with diverse roles, proving her worth as a serious actress. Her work in both French and American cinema has left an indelible mark, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. As a testament to her impact, Capucine's films and performances continue to resonate with audiences today, solidifying her place in the annals of film history. In the early 1960s, the actress Capucine made her mark on Hollywood with two memorable roles. She first appeared on the silver screen in Song, Without End, sharing the spotlight with Dirk Bogart. This film also represented Bogart's initial American picture. Later in her career, Capucine took on the character of Simone Clouseau in The Pink Panther. Interestingly, this part was initially offered to both Iva Gardner and Janet Leigh before finding its way to Capucine. Lee declined due to her recent marriage while Gardner's financial and personal demands proved unfavorable to the production team. Even after her successful acting career, Capucine maintained a low profile. Her last known address was in Lausanne, Switzerland, specifically at Kemen de Primero 6. This tranquil setting likely provided her with privacy and peace, away from the hustle and bustle of her former life in the limelight. Capucine, the French actress, was known for her unique approach to her work. She once mentioned that she never approached a role as just a job, but as a chance to explore the human condition. This artistic vision set her apart from many of her contemporaries. Capucine's process was deeply introspective. She would spend hours alone, contemplating the character she was to portray. She believed that to truly bring a character to life, she needed to understand their motivations, fears, and desires. This level of dedication and focus was evident in every performance she gave. Her style was subtle yet powerful. She didn't believe in overacting or grand gestures, instead preferring to let her emotions simmer just below the surface. This approach made her performances incredibly nuanced and deeply moving. Capucine's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in her work. Having grown up during World War II, she had a deep understanding of human suffering and resilience. This is evident in many of her films, where she portrayed characters who had been through tremendous hardship but managed to persevere. Her unique approach to acting, her introspective process, and her subtle yet powerful style have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Even today, her work continues to resonate with audiences, serving as a testament to her enduring talent and artistic vision. Capuzine, in the film North to Alaska, claimed that John Wayne wore lifts. When the actress passed away in 1990, her only known survivors were her three cats, according to her New York Times obituary. In 1956, she realized her boredom and, having never been to America, flew there that same Friday. She modeled in New York for a while, and one night at the Manhattan restaurant Le Pavilion, she met star John Wayne and agent producer Charles K. Feldman. Feldman signed her to a contract, and she moved in with him, later being sent to California to learn English. Capucine made her English, speaking debut as Princess Carolyn in Song, Without End, in 1960. Capucine, the actress, made a significant contribution to the film industry, particularly in the 1950s and 1960s. She was known for her work in both French and American cinema, which allowed her to influence trends on both sides of the Atlantic. In French cinema, Capucine starred in classics like The Houseboat and Fear Over the City. Her performances were praised for their emotional depth and subtlety, which was a departure from the more dramatic acting styles prevalent at the time. This shift in acting technique had a ripple effect, with many French actors 
and actresses adopting a more understated style in the years that followed. In American cinema, Capucine was a familiar face in the work of director Blake Edwards. She starred in his films The Pink Panther and The Great Race, where she showcased her comedic timing and physical comedy skills. Her performances were a breath of fresh air in an industry that often took itself too seriously. This led to a trend of more comedic roles for women in American films. Capucine's influence also extended to storytelling. She often chose roles that challenged societal norms and expectations, such as her portrayal of a woman who refuses to be tied down by traditional relationships in The Pink Panther. This boldness resonated with audiences and inspired other actresses to take on similar roles. Industry experts and those inspired by Capucine have praised her contribution to the film industry. Director Blake Edwards once said, Capucine had a unique ability to make any role her own. She was a true original. Actress Sarah Jessica Parker, who cites Capucine as an inspiration, has said, Capucine's work showed me that you don't have to fit into a mold to be successful in this industry. You can blaze your own trail. In conclusion, Capucine's contribution to the film industry was significant and far-reaching. Her innovative acting techniques and bold storytelling choices continue to influence filmmakers and actresses today. Capucine, known as Cap to her close friends, was born in the small French town of Saumur, the same place where Coco Chanel, one of her famous patrons from her modeling days, hailed from. In the film The Pink Panther, she played Simone Clouseau. Yves Saint Laurent, who was Paris's most in-demand fashion designer at the time, created the gowns for Capucine and Claudia Cardinale in this classic. This marked the designer's first Hollywood film project, further confirming his status. Capucine, the French actress known for her roles in films like The Pink Panther and North to Alaska, led a life full of adventure and passion beyond the silver screen. She was born Germaine Lefebvre on January 6, 1928, in Saint Raphael, France, and went on to become one of Hollywood's most captivating leading ladies. Her love for animals played a significant role in shaping both her personal and professional endeavors. This passion led her to support various animal welfare organizations throughout her career. In fact, she served as a board member for the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, actively advocating for better treatment of our furry friends. Outside of acting and animal activism, Capucine had a deep appreciation for art and culture. She enjoyed painting and even exhibited some of her works in galleries across Europe. Her artistic side often influenced her film choices, gravitating towards projects that allowed her to explore different aspects of human emotion and creativity. Additionally, Capucine became involved in several charitable initiatives focused on improving children's lives. One notable example includes working closely with UNICEF to raise awareness about global child poverty and malnutrition issues during the late 1970s. Through these experiences, she left an indelible mark on countless individuals by promoting compassion, understanding, and generosity. As we reflect upon Capucine's legacy, it becomes clear that her personal values greatly informed her work both on and off screen. By championing animal rights, embracing cultural diversity, and supporting underprivileged communities, she demonstrated the power of kindness and perseverance, qualities that continue to resonate today. In The Pink Panther, Capucine played the role of Simon Clouseau. A memorable scene in the bath with Robert Wagner involved the use of a powerful foaming agent, which caused burns to both actors' skin. Wagner, who was fully submerged, even lost his sight for four weeks. Capucine's striking beauty earned her the reputation as one of Europe's great beauties. Her allure was so potent that, according to rumors, she was included in the wills of several high-profile individuals, including William Holden, Peter Sellers, and 20th Century Fox studio chief Daryl F. Sanak. Despite the challenges she faced in her career and personal life, Capucine left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. The actress's impact transcended the silver screen and resonated with many, making her a true icon of classic cinema. One can only imagine the intriguing stories and experiences she accumulated throughout her life and career. Reflecting on Capucine's legacy, the actress left an enduring impression in the world of film and television. With a career spanning several decades, she captivated audiences with her versatile performances. In her early years, Capucine appeared in a number of classic films, showcasing her remarkable range as an actress. She later transitioned to television, where she continued to make an impact with her intriguing roles. When asked about her future contributions, Capucine once said, I hope to keep telling stories that resonate with people 
and to inspire the next generation of actors and actresses. She believed that the world of entertainment was a vibrant tapestry and that each actor played a part in weaving its intricate patterns. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Capucine offered this advice always be true to yourself and to your craft. Never stop learning and growing as an artist, and most importantly, never give up on your dreams. Indeed, Capucine's legacy serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring appeal of a captivating performance. Her work continues to inspire and entertain, and her impact on the industry is still felt to this day. Capuzine, the actress born as German Lefebvre, took her stage name from the French word for the nasturtium flower, pronounced Capucine. In the film North to Alaska, she played the role of Angel, a character that caught the attention of John Wayne. Interestingly, Wayne was unaware of Capucine's sexual orientation, as she publicly came out as gay many years later. The name Capucine may be new to some, but the impact of her work in the film industry continues to resonate. Delving deeper into her life, we discover more about this classic actress and her contributions to the world of film. Capucine, born Germaine Lefebvre, was a French actress who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her career spanned over three decades, gracing both stage and screen with her undeniable talent. In the early years, she studied acting and modeling before moving to New York City to pursue her dreams further. The actress soon caught the eye of Hollywood producers and landed roles in films like Sabrina, opposite Humphrey Bogart and Audrey Hepburn, which propelled her into international stardom. She continued to appear in various movies throughout the 50s and 60s while also making appearances on television shows. One notable aspect of Capucine's career was her willingness to take risks and push boundaries. She starred in several Italian productions during the late 60s and early 70s when European cinema began experimenting with new genres and styles. This bold move solidified her status as a truly innovative artist, unafraid to venture beyond conventional paths. Despite facing personal struggles, including battles with depression, Capucine remained committed to her craft until her untimely death in 1990. Her contributions to both American and European cinema continue to resonate today, leaving behind a legacy that transcends generations. Reflecting on Capucine's life serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of creativity and perseverance. Time and time again, she demonstrated resilience and determination in pursuing her passions despite adversity. As we look back upon her impressive body of work, let us remember that even in the face of challenges, our creative spirits can thrive if nurtured and allowed to grow freely. Capucine's journey to stardom began in an unexpected way. While riding in a carriage in Paris, a commercial photographer noticed her and was captivated by her beauty. This chance encounter led to Capucine becoming a top fashion model for renowned designers such as Maggie Roof, Christian Dior, and Hubert de Givenchy. In the 1965 film, What's New Pussycat? Capucine played the lover of Peter Sellers. Interestingly, they had previously worked together in The Pink Panther, where Capucine portrayed Simone Clouseau. The role was initially offered to Iva Gardner, but due to her erratic lifestyle, producers decided to hire Capucine just two weeks before filming began. The decision to replace Iva Gardner with Capucine caused some chaos. Peter Ustinov's wife felt that Capucine's sudden casting would affect the caliber of the production, and she urged him to withdraw from the film. However, this chaos ultimately led to Peter Sellers becoming an international superstar. Capucine's ability to adapt to such a sudden change and deliver a memorable performance is a testament to her talent as an actress. Despite the challenges she faced, she remained professional and contributed to the success of the film. In the film song Without End, Capucine played Princess Carolyn, but the production was marked by tension with director Charles Vitter. After Vitter's death, George Cukor took over and improved the atmosphere. Capucine's first screen appearance was in Rendezvous in July, where she met her spouse. However, the marriage only lasted six months. In North to Alaska, Capucine portrayed Angel, and her genuine laughter in a scene was the result of being tickled on her feet. The producers admitted this years after the film's release. In 1952, a young Capucine embarked on a two-week job modeling clothes for fashion shows aboard a French cruise ship. During this journey, she shared a cabin with a 17-year-old dancer named Bridget Bardot, who was part of the ship's nightclub chorus. Nearly two decades later, Capucine took on the role of Simone Clouseau in the classic film The Pink Panther. Then, in 1982, she reunited with Robert Wagner in Heart of Diamonds. Tragically, Capucine's life was cut short when she passed away in Lausanne, Switzerland. 
after jumping from her eight-story apartment. Despite the circumstances surrounding her death, her contributions to the film industry remain noteworthy. This actress's career spanned various roles, showcasing her talent and versatility. Even when mentioned in the same breath as other notable figures like Bridget Bardo and Robert Wagner, Capucine's unique presence in the world of classic films remains distinct. Let's take a moment to appreciate the actress, Capucine, who graced both the big and small screens with her undeniable talent. Known for her work in films like The Pink Panther and The Seventh Dawn, as well as TV shows such as The Man from UNCLE, she left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With her distinctive charm and elegance, Capucine captivated audiences and colleagues alike. Her ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles showcased her versatility and adaptability as a performer. This classic actress truly resonated with people from all walks of life. Now, we would love to hear your thoughts on Capucine's work and legacy. What are your favorite memories of her on screen? Did you have a favorite film or performance? Share your stories and memories with us in the comments below. As you engage with our content, please consider liking and sharing this post with your friends and family. By doing so, you help us continue to celebrate the creative spirits that have shaped the entertainment world. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories about the artists who have left their indelible mark on the industry.